Hey, what's going on, guys? Jason Lohr here with Jason Lohr Photography and Films, and welcome to the JL Photography and Films podcast series. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about a, a movie that I believe I should have seen a long time ago when I was a kid, when it came out back in 1993, and that is The Last Action Hero with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Charles Dance. So um, I didn't come across this movie until just recently. Uh, this movie is now available on Netflix. I'm not sure how long it's going to be in there, but if you guys do um, want to check it out, uh, I'd say check it out on Netflix. And uh, so uh, really quick, uh, what the movie is about, it's about a kid named Danny who is a big-time uh, movie goer, uh, loves a lot of action, uh, action movies, and one in particular is... Uh, Jack Slater, who is this uh, action hero cop, and uh, he, Jack is played by uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he's just this, uh, you know, badass like uh, cop who just takes down all the criminals in the most awesome and epic way ever. And so, um, one day, Danny comes across this magic ticket that actually gives him, you know, the power to step into the movie world and. The movie that he just so happens to step into is, um, you know, the next Jack Slater movie. So when he steps into the world of the movies, uh, he's uh, riding alongside uh, Jack Slater as he's um, taking down the criminals. So uh, it's pretty much like a dream come true for him because now he's working side by side with his uh, action hero and... You know, all the while, like, he's also kind of, like, pointing out all the cliches and also trying to convince Jack that he's in a movie to which Jack is just not really getting it or not really, like, seeing it. Because in the movie world, they believe that that's the real world itself. So um, that's where the fun begins is, like, just the uh, action adventure and just meeting all the cliche characters that would pop up in like um like almost every movie so um anyways uh i don't want to spoil too much but i will give you guys uh that uh description of what the movie is basically about but um let's talk about uh let's see uh arnold so arnold uh actually uh holds up to his role as an action you know action hero uh he's already been in movies like predator and um gosh i'm trying to think of like all the other action movies he's been in but like i said this movie uh the last action hero came out in 1993 and he's already have like a lot of uh, big action titles under his shoulder or over on the shoulders of like just you know what makes like an action hero so um there's a lot of puns that he throws in there too and i don't know anybody knows this but like arnold is known for like you know, throwing a lot of puns in his action movies. So, you know, definitely, uh, I don't know. For some people, it might get annoying, but to me, I found it, like, pretty funny and entertaining. So, you know, it definitely uh, made the movie more fun to watch, too, along with, like, him just being that, um, you know, that cliche uh, action hero who's just this this wrecking machine basically to all the criminals in the world of, you know, Jack Slater. So, um, speaking of criminals, uh, we got Charles dance playing, uh, Benedict who is a henchman at first, but then he rises to the top as just this really, really, uh, terrifying, uh, villain. So he's a, he's a henchman, but he's known to be like very, um, very witty and also very intelligent. So he's not your typical like henchman who just, you know, drops like a fly, but he's very smart to where he knows how to take down uh Jack. And so um to make him even more dangerous is um you know, at some point in the movie, he does get a hold of the magic ticket from Danny and uses it to get into the real world and um, that's when, uh, he comes to realize that in the real world, the bad guys can actually win. So that's what makes him an even bigger threat as, um, you know, Jack and Danny, uh, you know, make it back into the real world too, to where, you know, uh, Danny 
tries to tell Jack that he could actually die in the real world versus like in the you know the movie world you know that cliche of like you know the action hero always comes out on top somehow some way so um anyways you know Charles Dance did a really good job as uh, Benedict or as just a villain if you guys uh, watch Game of Thrones, you guys would know Charles Dance as uh, Tywin Lannister, who is absolutely intelligent and also very, like, you know, uh, straightforward to where, you know, a lot of the other characters fear him because, you know, he's got every, like, quality of intelligence and also striking fear in his enemy's eyes. So, um, yeah, definitely a great job to Charles Dance and great job to Arnold for, you know, playing their roles as both the hero and the villain. So, um, definitely, um, yeah, definitely what makes a great story too is a great villain and a great, um, a great hero. All right. So, um, that's all I will talk about, uh, the last action hero. Um, I don't want to give away too much, um, but I will say this, though. It's definitely a movie worth watching, especially if you're a moviegoer and love watching movies. I mean, you know, this is one of the things that I love about the message of the movie is that it's a movie about why we watch movies. It's an escape from our everyday lives that we see every day. Wake up, go to school, go to work, go to bed and then rinse and repeat and do the same thing but every week when there's always a new movie coming out in the theater it's like you know you go to that movie and you go watch that movie and it's like a escape it's a adventure and the next week is always a new adventure so whether it be watching a comedy uh an action adventure drama romance it's like you know we all have our um you know our own escapes so um, you know, for me, it's like, um, this was like a great demonstration of that, especially with Danny, who had the magic ticket to, you know, actually jump into, you know, that movie world that he so, um, you know, so uh, enjoys to watch every time. So, you know, that to me was like, just me when I was a kid, like, I, yeah, I got into writing screenplays because, you know, I wanted to do more than just, you know, um, write a story for someone to read. I want to write a story where, you know, it could be brought to life. And, you know, I got into screen, I'm uh, sorry, I got into filmmaking uh, in high school when I was part of, uh, you know, a program called ACT, uh, which uh, is short for uh, Academic Communications and Technology. And in that program, um you know, we got to make movies. And so that's what got me into filmmaking too, because to me, it was like, you know, now I want to be more than just uh, writing screenplays. I want to be a part of like, you know, bringing those uh, stories and those uh, characters and those worlds that I created into life. And, you know, had I seen this movie back in 1993, I was probably like seven years old at that time. Have I seen that movie back then earlier I probably would have like begged my parents for a camera and just start shooting uh films at home so you know again this was a really underrated movie too I think like the thing is um if you guys watch this movie uh definitely for sure don't take it seriously it was never meant to be serious it was meant to be entertaining and it was meant to be fun and I think like a lot of people um, who gave it, like, bad reviews, like, I think, like, it was just not their cup of tea, quite honestly, it's, like, it really wasn't, but for me, I really did enjoy it, you know, again, it was meant to be entertaining, and it was meant to be fun, and so I definitely, you know, got both of those, you know, you know, from this movie, so I think, like, if you guys watch this movie, you guys will enjoy it, too, but again, it's not for everybody, you know, but, you know, it's definitely one that I would say it's worth watching too, because everybody has their own escape. So, uh, again, like this is, uh, one of my biggest escapes from my everyday life and then some, but otherwise, yeah, that's the last action hero and it's, uh, on Netflix at the moment. Uh, hopefully it'll still be there by the time, uh, you see this podcast. 
uh, definitely check it out and let me know what you guys think. And if you guys already seen The Last Action Hero, let me know what you guys think of the film. Was it entertaining? Was it boring? Uh, like or dislike? But um, would definitely like to hear from you guys. So uh, uh, if you guys haven't done so either, definitely click that subscribe button on my YouTube channel. So that way you guys can get more uh, updates on upcoming podcasts and projects and events that I'll be involved in. But until then, this is Jason Lore with Jason Lore Photography and Films, bringing you art stories and entertainment.